Okay, so I wasn't going to hop on here because I felt pretty unmotivated um, since Monday, but I just got the urge to just do it real quick. Just get it over with. So um, I triggered Saturday night like I thought I would, and my egg retrieval was Monday morning, very, very bright and early. Um, everything went good with that. There were 23 eggs retrieved. I had 25 last time and there were 20 mature and there was 20 mature last time as well. Um, felt pretty great after the procedure. Nothing actually hit me till a few hours later when I was home and then from that point on it was just um, pretty rough. I know I had it rough last time but I felt like this time was a little more um, difficult for me to recover than even last time. I've had all the same symptoms as last time as far as, you know, just the bloating and the discomfort. I've had cramping. I actually had spotting this time that lasted for like two and a half days um, that I didn't have last time. So that was kind of a bummer. Had the back aches, nausea even at times. Ugh, I was just feeling rough. I even had a, um, a little bout this morning where I was just hurled over from cramping and I don't know if that was because I started my progesterone or not yesterday. Maybe it was the mixture of the two. Who knows? You could chalk it up to anything really. So the day after my egg retrieval, the embryologist called and let me know out of the 20 mature eggs, 16 fertilized. So that's one less than last time. And remember last time that the 17 that we had stayed up until the very last minute and we dwindled down to two by the day of transfer where we didn't know if we were going to be able to freeze anything but thankfully by the day six which was the next day after transfer um, two had caught up to speed and they were able to freeze those as well so i had 16 and i didn't hear from him on wednesday but i heard from him this afternoon and this time around, I had 10 that were looking good and where he wanted them to be. And I had two that were starting to arrest. And he didn't say anything about the other four, but I'm just assuming they were a little behind. But I'm hoping that they are to the point where there's a possibility that they could also catch up as well. So I'm having my transfer on Saturday, which is obviously a day five. Today would have been day three transfer. And... Yeah, other than that, um, how I'm feeling, I've already gone over, the numbers gone over, and I was really worried that I may have not been able to go in on Saturday for transfer with how I was feeling those first few days, but thankfully, I, I'm pretty confident that I'm on the road to recovery, so that's awesome. And I have nothing else to say other than that, nothing else to update on. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. So yeah, I will know what everything looks like on Saturday. I don't know whether to be nervous or not, you know, because last time I had 17 up until that very last minute to where it dwindled down. And I fear that maybe what if it happens again and I only have like 10 good ones right now and they dwindle off or even all of them dwindle off. But then again, I am trying to stay hopeful that they're just taking a different route this time and you know, that growth hormone maybe had something to do with everything and those 10 are just great quality and maybe we'll even get to keep them all. I have no idea. It is all in God's hands. So it's pretty much where we're at. I'm definitely hoping that the two that we transfer look pretty good on Saturday and I'm really hoping that we have some to freeze, even more than two like last time. But time will tell. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.